It was raining. Hello vlog. So the light today is really not vibe, so I'm not enjoying it at all. Um, we left the hostel this morning and I fell down the stairs, so that was great fun. I know it's raining. Maybe I need to put the camera away. But a story of our life here. Look at my hair. I washed it last night and it's disgusting. We're looking worse for wear. We're at the coach station because we're about to get the coach from Auckland to Hamilton and Hamilton to Newcomb. See Rachel's family. We had breakfast this morning. That's really good here. As opposed to like, um, yeah, we had breakfast this morning. I fell down the stairs. <laughs> we have had quite, quite. Had a bit of, bit of a dramatic and eventful morning, but it's all good. Had a lovely breakfast, or brunch, yeah, sort of full. Um, we get on the coach. So, yeah, see you on the coach. Okay, see you on the coach. Welcome to Intercity. We do have a health and safety on here with the seat belts. Please put on your seat belts because if we get pulled up, it's a hundred and fifty dollar fine. Which wow, how's my hair looking? So we are we're about halfway through the coach journey now. It's yeah. now about five o'clock. Just had a stop while the drivers change over and luckily we found a shop. We thought there was gonna be a shop when we stopped to move to a different so coach and there wasn't. It was very, very sad. So our shop hall, we've got uh, Bangsaw Mini Chris. I went for a Aero Caramel Gold. Lovely choice. Raspberry, raspberry Fanta. Fanta. Fanta, interesting. And I've gone for a water just to fill up my bottles, M&Ms and the Sprite. Yeah, so I think we're going to go for a little blue stop now, back on the coach, just watch the episode of the Kardashians, having a great time. We arrived in New Plymouth about 8pm where Rachel's great aunt Pat and her husband Keith very kindly picked us up from the bus stop, took us home and had some dinner waiting for us on the table which is very very kind of them. This was the first time Rachel's ever met this side of her family so I do apologise but from here on onwards the clips are a little bit sporadic because I didn't want to just pull the camera out all the time. Off she goes, wait, I'm following. We've got an e bike today. <laughs> yeah, I've got e bike, I've got the, the pop. No, we're gonna swap on the other way around. They said the strongest person should go first. <laughs> yeah, so, well, I'm not actually sure. Stocky I'm legs, sure. me is going last. Um, now, I think we're pretty equal. Yeah. We're both pretty fit and healthy girls. Um, so yeah, day one in Stratford with Rachel's family. We're having a great, we're having a great time. Oh, um, they're, just, they're just lovely, we love them. Really wholesome um, vibes. We're going yeah, wholesome lunch. vibes. We're going to have for lunch after our little cycle. But yeah, we're just, just going to film some clips and hope you enjoy. I uh, hope we manage to be safe on these bikes. I hope so. This monstrosity that I've got on my head. <laughs> See you on the other side. Bye. Right. Off she goes. Really? Got some speed though. As you can tell by my face here, there's not much I enjoy more than a cycle along a coastal pathway. The weather was absolutely beautiful, probably the best day we've had in New Zealand so far. After the bike ride we went for some lunch, I had this really really yummy beetroot and walnut pasta. Again, look at us living our best lives here. As it turned out to be such a beautiful day, Pat and her daughter Elaine insisted that we go up and see Mount Taranaki from the little viewpoint. Obviously today we didn't have time to hike this mountain, so instead we drove up to a little car park where you could walk out to this viewpoint and have a great view of the mountain. Look at it, it's clearing, it's going to come out for yeah. you, is it? You can see why it controls the climate completely in New Zealand, oh, in yeah. Mount Taranaki. Oh, no, it's so warm. <laughs> wow, look at that. 
I'm glad we took the step. It was so lovely to stay at Pat's house. It really felt like a slice of home for a couple of days. She looked after so many animals on her <laughs> land. There were cows, fish, Isn't cats, dogs, <laughs> and even these goats called Hickey and Roger. Very, very <laughs> In the evening, we went back to Elaine's house and had a barbecue. The sunset was absolutely incredible. So was the food and so was the pavlova. Look at the size of that. And yes, it was incredible. This is what the Kiwis ate for breakfast. Hey, Pat. <laughs> Look at the size of Rachel's. <laughs> and the cream. <laughs> the next day we had a tour around Elaine's friend Glenn's farm. They really wanted to show us what real New Zealand life was like and what better way than to show us around a dairy farm. This day turned out to be one of our absolute highlights of our whole trip. We saw cows being fed, cows being milked, and then even got trusted to drive the gator ourselves. Feel much more from the rest of our time in Taranaki just because we were really enjoying living in the moment but that evening we went to Pat's other daughter Lee's house for dinner we had fish and chips and Lee's partner Warren had gone out and caught the fish that morning it was really really delicious it was another early start for us in the morning as we were getting the coach to our next destination I still can't get over how beautiful the views are from the coach Good afternoon vlog. I haven't really vlogged today because we've been on a coach for like seven hours. We've had a long travel day. We got up about seven, left um, Pat and Keith's at about 8.15. I forgot my jump part on the way to the bus stop so we had to turn around and come back again. But luckily we didn't miss the bus. Um, and yeah, we're now in Wellington and it's beautiful sunny blue sky. We've been to the hostel and checked in and it's so nice. At the moment we are just going to the supermarket get some food for dinner and it's about half five now so we're doing good for time and then we're going to go out maybe get a drink or something later after time dinner so yeah well time <laughs> here's our dinner and look at this free hot chocolate we used to have a lot back this point <laughs>
This hill has been horrendous. But I think I'm relatively fit. Yeah. And then you do a walk up that's that steep. So, good morning vlog. You join us <laughs> um, day one of being a Wellington. Wellington? Well, we arrived yesterday evening afternoon we went for some drinks and we were oh should we just stay out for one and then we went to another bar because the one we started in um closed at 10. don't know why i'm doing this on the stairs yeah, it's a terrible idea so look at the <laughs> no, i'm keeping my stamina up keeping my fitness up um but yeah then we went to another bar we got there it was really busy and they said oh you just wait at the bar you can order your drinks and we'll get you a table Great, no problem, fine. So we order our drinks. Then he goes, oh, it's two for one. So we ended up having a lovely time. But yeah, I didn't really vlog that much. I'm gonna stop and finish when I get to the top. <laughs> anyway, yeah, it's Thursday. And we think it's only really gonna be nice weather this morning. So we've decided to come and do the stuff we wanna to walk to, like the Botanic Gardens and the cable car, whilst it's dry. And then we can do anything inside, like shopping and museums this afternoon when it's raining anyway we've made it to the top which is where we think you can get the cable car from this is the view so there's a little museum here and then we're gonna get this bad boy down it's like a little cable car tram kind of thing how cute it looks and this is why it's worth it to walk to the top one of the viewpoints we have had to sit down and take five to recover because it was quite quite a challenge quite a struggle <laughs> oh, God, it was and it's like even though it's quite grey today it's quite muggy still so it does feel very hot and we've got trousers on so they're not thick but like we thought if it does start getting cold then I'm like wearing my jumpers making me hotter than wearing long trousers um but yeah this is the view it's a nice view. <laughs> but is it nice that it's worth that hike? No. Get the cable car from the bottom to the top and then walk down. That's what we're thinking. Because now we're here, when we looked at the map, the cable car doesn't actually go through the gardens. But it's cable car like, I call it a tram. It looks more like a tram than a cable car. But if you look at the map, so we walked up this road didn't we salamanca yeah and got here um yeah like up all the way up here we could have yeah, actually got on it why did we do not do that no, but we got told a lie <laughs> then we walked around the here walk here and then down but we want to go around the garden so we're gonna have to go down and come back up to go down so yeah recommend getting here yeah what and then a joke. Walking. 
<laughs> I'm actually, I thought that guy was nice at reception. <laughs> doesn't smell but the actual crisp smells no. good oh wow mm. so that is garlic bread butter. and garlic butter is one of my favorite things in the world yeah that's really good well mm. really good all right though good crunch recommend good crunch The weather was slowly taking a bit of a turn but we enjoyed walking around the botanic gardens. Until editing these vlogs back I don't think I appreciated the peace of New Zealand. Like just listening to the birds in these clips is just something else. <laughs> just need to document this moment because we found this random shop and I'm just obsessed. Like, look at all this stationery. Oh, <laughs> oh, it's so fun. It's like heaven. That's what a kiwi bird looks like. Look at his beak. This is so cool. When you put your hand on, listen. It like makes this have more creatures and life. We spent the rest of the afternoon at the Museum of New Zealand. I won't say I'm the biggest lover of museums, but this was one of the best ones I've been to. It was really cool. The exhibits were really interactive and all the information was really, really interesting. We then went back to the hostel and decided to have an early night because we're getting up really early in the morning to travel to our next destination. That journey in itself ended up being such a mission. Don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed this video and you want to see what happens next on my travels. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.